close it out there, but wanted to start with that first half of North Union, so we'll probably see together. Uh, what was the, the standout part of, especially the offense, being that efficient? I, I think guys, uh, we mentioned it at halftime, um, guys getting hits, obviously. Well, I'll start on the defensive end. That led to some easy offense, you know, us being able to get some stops, some deflections, some steals. That always helps your offensive numbers. And also, once we did get offensive possessions, um, our guys, whether it was a big or small, and pick and rolls, getting hits, getting bodies on bodies, creating an advantage, uh, putting the defense at a disadvantage, and guys making simple simple plays, simple play, simple pass. And so um, everything, the timing, on time, on target, and guys, you know, the, the better looks you get, the more you stay in rhythm with your timing, get hits, create opportunities, uh, those shots become a lot easier to make as opposed to always being contested. So, and you know, we had 16 assists at halftime and after having 21 for the entire game against uh, the Warriors in our first preseason, preseason game. So it was great, great effort. We got to see some different combinations. It was good to see Brian out there, good to see AR out there. Um, it, it was it was a good night, and and you know our young guys <laughs> finishing it up and making it go down to the wire. But uh, you know they made some winning plays. Colin on the offensive glass, Alex Fudge taking a huge charge, uh, drawing a huge charge. You know it's it's good for them to get education and baptism by fire in that in, in that regard. Before the game, you spoke a little bit about the spacing, but the three-point volume and three-point makes these first two games, Darvin, any, any part of that kind of targeted? Is it just more about the personnel differences? How would you No, that's that? one of our goals, man. We want to get our attempts up. We don't want to go crazy. Like, we, we still want to be a team that loves and lives in the paint. Um, and I think now with, the, with our newly constructed roster, along with, obviously, the core guys that we brought back, we feel like, you know, just having that one-two punch, you know, Brian is going to collapse the defense. AD is going to collapse the defense. Rui and those guys being willing passers and, and, and knowing how to read the defense with Gabe in the fold now, Torian Prince, all of these guys, you know, your normal AR. You know, Brian has worked feverishly on his jumper. All His jumper just, you know, continues to progress. And so we feel really good, AD being a willing shooter from that distance, not hesitating. Um, we feel like, you know, it's a good mixture of guys where we can have a really strong one-two punch, you know, starting in the paint, but obviously being able to throw them up from long distance and make them. Darvin, this is, they're both preseason games, obviously, but two games in a row where D'Angelo's been pretty aggressive, offensively shot yep. the ball well. Um, he, he had talked kind of openly about, you know, wanting to be comfortable and, and getting continuity and stuff like that. Is he someone that you, that you view could really benefit from kind of bringing it back, and does he seem to look more comfortable to you? Hell yeah! Like, like our communication has been awesome. Um, him uh, communicating to me what he's seeing, what he's feeling out there, me doing the same. It just not just me, with all our coaches um, and his teammates, and you're seeing that. And I mentioned all these shooters; he's at the forefront of that. Um, just the ease, the ease in which he, he's able to get into plays and get downhill under control. Um, remaining to be a threat all the while seeing everything that's transpiring off the ball as well, the different <coughs> spacing and, and how the defense is shifting. Uh, but yeah, D'Lo has been great. And the more comfortable he gets, the more, you know, seamless our offense will be. Um, because he's a guy, he, he understands how to go away from pressure and how to attack the defense in his soft spots. And um, again, extremely high IQ basketball player. And so the more and more he gets comfortable, the better we'll be. Darvin, it's great for, uh, with uh, preseason to get to uh, get away from Los Angeles and kind of uh, branch out and play in different fan bases, right, when it comes to the Lakers. Your thoughts overall as far as coming to Las Vegas and playing in front of uh, a Laker heavy crowd here in uh, Sin City? I mean, it's, it's, it's like a second home almost at this point, right? Like, like when you look at when we come through for uh, summer league games, the following is major. You know, Laker Nation is not only a domestic force, it's an international force with 
in particular, you know, you go around the different cities, Las Vegas is one of the biggest ones. And um, again, come here for Summer League and see how, when we play, how our crowd is active and vocal and really supportive and encouraging. And then again, fast forward, you know, in preparation for the regular season, you come here for preseason and it's the same thing. And, and when we're at the, you know, I've, we've stayed at the win, the encore and all of that, and just walking through those hotels, the, the, the fans are really extremely, extremely excited about the potential we have and what we, we may be able to do this season. And so our job is to go out and put our best foot forward every day and try to make that come to fruition. Thurman, uh, this was the, the first time you could put a fifth guy next to the other four starters. Uh, what went into starting Torian and, and what did you think of his fit with the other four guys? I thought his fit was great. You know, he's athletic, he's active, he's competitive, and he, he's, he's a skilled shooter and he can make plays off the dribble. He rebounds, he offers a rebound. Um, it's just, you know, trying to see different bodies in there with those guys. And uh, I thought he did a great job, you know, just, just staying in rhythm with the group, not disrupting anything those other guys were trying to do. And, you know, he's a smart player. And you got to account for him at the three-point line, so he provides space to the other guys. And I thought it was good. It was just, you know, us just wanting to see him and get a different look and take advantage. You know, it's unfortunate that both Cam and, and, and Vando specifically, you know, we had to shut them down a little bit just to be for precautionary reasons and, and, and just to be safe air on the cautious side, but I think uh, Torian stepped in and did a nice job. Uh, hey, Coach. Um, Rui, 19-5, uh, 12-7 and seven the last game. And um, I, what are some things you like from him and then also the pace, a lot faster pace with these with this group I see. How do you feel? How you how have you like the pace too as well? Well, I'll start with the second one first. The pace has been great. I, I, and I just knew once we put this team together in the way it looks, like, Anyone can start the break. I told them that before the game, and that's one of the biggest things. We had, we showed them a little quick film, some of the clips, the good and the bad, from our first preseason game. And one of the better offensive clips was AD outletting, inbounding the ball after, it made, after Golden State had made a basket. He inbounded it a, a, a high and wide inbound pass to uh, D'Lo, and D'Lo, without taking one dribble, <coughs> advanced the ball up the floor to Rui. Rui took one dribble and we had a score four seconds into the shot clock after a made basket. So just whether it's a made shot or a missed shot, you know, I tell these guys, we gotta have a next play mentality. We gotta attack early and often. And um, they've been doing it, man. And, and they, they're not, you don't see a lot of guys coming back to the ball to try to get an outlet pass. Once our, whether it's our bigs or small, whoever gets that defensive rebound, everyone is running and they're looking to kick ahead and attack early. So. We want to definitely maintain that and enhance that even more. Uh, with Rui, um, again, just you see the maturation, a hell of a maturation right before our eyes. From you know, he 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 he's a hell of a talent. He's a lottery pick for a reason. Um, and now that he's gained his footing and with some, with consistency within our program, and he's had big moments. You know, coming out of last year uh, from the trade deadline. Well, from when he was acquired all the way through the end of the regular season and into the playoffs. He was a huge factor for us and just his confidence, you could see it over the summer. And so now I think you're seeing that. Uh, one thing I will say though, like I told him, I put him to the side during the game and I'm gonna stay on him about it. Just as he's aggressive offensively, I need that same aggression defensively. You know, when he puts his mind to it, he's one of our more versatile defenders in terms of guarding smalls and having yet the strength and size to guard bigger guys as well and rebound and push it. So I'm gonna stay on him and you know, he's gonna continue to grow. He's a great kid, he's very coachable. Um, and you know, he likes, he, 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 he wants the coaches to be pleased with him. And so he's gonna put the work in that he needs to put in. Thanks coach. Thank you.